Hi there, Flat Cap Jeff, and I'm going to show you today how to make hummus, which is, of course, uh, a classic. So, what have we got? We have got some chickpeas, come back to those in a moment. We've got some tahini, we've got lemon juice and garlic, some olive oil, some salt, and then a bit of smoked paprika for uh, serving. Um, so I've got here a um, one tin, you, uh, you can obviously buy dried ones and soak them overnight, but this is a tin, normal 15 ounce tin of chickpeas. Um, this was actually quite a cheap supermarket tin. The more you pay for your chickpeas, the bigger they are typically. So these are pretty small. Now, um, in terms of preparation, I've actually simmered these for about 20 minutes in uh, boiling water. You don't have to again, but I just find if you soften them down, it just makes them a bit smoother. And then I've taken them out and I've got them on a spoon here and I take off the outer skin. So there isn't one on that one, but on this one there is. So if I just nip it between my finger and thumb, there we go, and there's the skin, okay? So I've actually done that with all of them and that's, that's how much came off, there's a lot. Uh, the, the cheaper the chickpeas you buy, the longer it's gonna take you because there's more of them in a tin. I'll just finish these ones off. Uh, and uh, the reason I do that is because I, I just like it to be much smoother as a tahini. If you don't mind it being a bit rougher, a bit more kind of country, then you can just leave the skins on and they will whiz up. It just means you'll be a slightly different texture to it. So this was a bit tedious, but I've done it now. There we go, last few little bits. There we go. Those ones are done. So now I have my de-skinned chickpeas, one tin of. I've then got my tahini. Now, unless you're making your own, I've bought this. Um, the tahini, when it's been in a jar, it sticks to the side quite a lot on the bottom. So you need to make sure you give it a good old stir before you use it. Otherwise you'll end up with a sort of watery bit at the top and solids uh, stuck to the bottom and the sides. So give it a good old stir. Uh, we're gonna use 60 mils, which is four tablespoons of that. I've then got the juice of one large lemon, again 60 ml, same as the tahini, and I've taken my garlic press here and I've squeezed in two, in my case I like the garlic flavour, two cloves of garlic into the lemon juice. If you do that um, and leave it in the lemon juice for about 10 minutes, it just takes uh, a bit of the, the heat out of the garlic as well. So then we need our blender, blitzer, so in with the chickpeas. This is such an easy thing to do and it's so much better than the bought versions. Um, then I'm gonna put in my 60 mils of lemon juice and my garlic. And then I'm gonna put in my tahini. I'm gonna put 60 mils, so four tablespoons generous measures because it sticks to the sides so you don't get a full amount three four then I'm going to put in uh, the same amount oh sorry I've done it with lemon juice sorry I'm now going to put in um, half the amount so two tablespoons of olive oil one again just give it a little bit of Extra two. I'm going to give it some salt, and this is just going to be good old grind about half a teaspoon, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. You can always add some more later, you can't take it out, so don't overdo it at this point. Um, and I'm now going to pop this onto my blitzer up here. I'm going to move this up so we can see what's going on. And we're going to give this about a minute and then we'll have a look. If like me, it sticks a little bit when that happens. This isn't ideal for making this and then just move it around a bit. Put that back on and give it another go. And down again. 
again. Okay. Just a little slacken that off a bit. So a couple of tablespoons. There we go. Add a go. That is now done, and we're going to just get some outs. Got a bowl here. Okay. And you can see we have a fantastically lovely bowl of hummus. Freshly made, and then just to finish it off, we're going to put a little bit of olive oil, and then a shake of smoked paprika, there we go, there we have it, hummus sorted out. Now. <laughs> Clearly you saw there's a bit of a problem there with my mixer, but that's fine, I found a way around it. Um, the smaller ones are often better than these great big uh, blenders, but we got there. And uh, if you wanna see more, then just subscribe to the channel. It's free and just means that I'll send you a notification when a video is published. Or you can go to the website, which is www.theflatcapchef.com. The Flat Cap Chef is all one word. Uh, where you'll find uh, the physical versions of lots of these recipes. It's being built, so bear with us, but uh, you'll find quite a lot on there. Okay, till next time, goodbye.